A murder investigation stunned a Southwest Miami-Dade neighborhood. That's crazy. It's shocking. You don't you don't expect someone to to be able to do that. It's it's horrifying. Tonight, big new developments as two people are arrested for what's described as a gruesome murder. The two people arrested are the daughter of the victim and the daughter's boyfriend. Early this morning, Miami-Dade police were at the victim's home, digging up the backyard, searching for evidence. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live tonight on the scene with more on what happened. Peter. Well, Ruta and Elliot, one family member, told me she knows that Miami-Dade police discovered burnt clothing in the front of this home here. The victim's body was burned at what was a gruesome discovery. The Miami-Dade police also say they discovered what appeared to be human bones inside a dumpster like this one in the front of the home here at Southwest 224th Street and 127th Place. Alarming images for neighbors as Miami-Dade police dig up a backyard, carefully place items on a makeshift table, leave with bags of evidence, and tow away the score. Kind of scary because nothing really happens in this neighborhood, so just to come home and see all these cop cars and the CSI vans, it's really scary. A family member says this is where Hilda Gonzalez lived with her 29-year-old daughter, Sasha Gonzalez, and her 30-year-old boyfriend, Yancel Castillo, and their little daughter. Now Gonzalez is charged with taking her mother's life, and Castillo is accused of abusing the body that was burned. That's crazy. It's shocking. You don't, you don't expect someone to to be able to do that. It's it's horrifying. Police say they came here Tuesday afternoon for a welfare check and found burned clothing in the front yard, apparent bones in a trash bin in front, a charred area on the side, and the scent of a Clorox cleaning product. Police say Sasha Gonzalez told detectives that her mother was hurting her and she paid someone $50 to hurt her mother and did not know she would be killed. Neighbor Nadit Hernandez says she did see Yancel Castillo acting strangely. The guy ran around yesterday morning, around 6 in the morning, erratically, acting like a lunatic, and uh, he ran up to a landscaping car and started pounding the car, and the car had to stop. Police say before Gonzalez was killed, Yancel Castillo's brother, Santi, was in a dispute with her about staying in the home. They say as she slept in a locked bedroom, her daughter removed the doorknob, and Yancey and Santi entered with a large trash bag, and Gonzalez was suffocated. Police say her daughter said the two men were seen carrying the body to the side of the house and lighting branches to burn the body. Now, family members who gathered here this afternoon told me they did not want to send anything on camera right now. They said they're holding off in part from speaking because they're not sure what's going to happen to the brother, Santi Castillo. We talked with Miami Dade police. They say so far no charges have been filed against him. They are questioning him. We're live in Southwest Miami Dade, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.